Hi guys, how you all doing? It's Chris again. Um, name's still not changed. <laughs> Got another little unboxing video for you. Just uh, just the one small box this time, and it's kind of deceptive to be honest. Uh, this is from Optactical.com, which is a US-based retailer of all your uh, molly pouches and vests and rigs and BDUs and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's uh, so deceptive because this box is for some reason far far larger than the, the contents inside you think they'd have come sent some sort of maybe smaller packet but on the other hand I mean it's, it's going to have protected the what's it, the contents of the box better so that's a plus one for them um, and on a change to what usually happens when I import stuff from America or abroad in general I've not actually got a ridiculous bill from Parcel Force and had to wait a load of extra time after paying them to get this, it just came straight through. Even though it does go over the uh, the limits for the amounts that you're allowed to import free, so technically I should have had to pay import price for this, but I've got away with it for a change. Winner, because I normally never do. Well, the annoying thing is this is quite this wouldn't have cost much tax. Whereas when I imported my two GMP gas blowback M4s, which were about came to about it was, it was over a thousand dollars for the two of them. Um, yeah, that back got taxed right up there. I'll try not to swear too much. Um, got taxed up something, that's for sure. But yeah, I'll tax me. Got myself a few new bits of gear. Smirts. Fire on it. It's quite a handy feature, actually. That little rip thing's got a little bit of plastic laid with the cardboard. That makes it much easier. It would have been nice if they put in a bit more sort of bubble wrap. Well, you're not going to be able to see that because it's dark in there, but the products are sort of loose inside the box. A bit of bubble wrap would have only taken a second, but then on the other hand, if it's designed to be, you know, thrown around in a desert and all that sort of stuff, it, it should really be able to survive just a bit of knocking around in the plane or whatever. So we've got our first. First thing is the Blue Force gear. Another bit of them. The SOC C, whatever that stands for. Ah, special operations capable convertible suspenders for your uh, your belt rig or your second line or whatever you want to call it. Um, I've gone for multicam because they didn't have uh, range green in stock, and multicam looks like MTP and I like MTP. So yeah, um, usual blue force here, plastic bag packaging with the label describing it. Now. Obviously, you know, it's all top quality Cordura and you've got the nice mesh padding there. Oh, when that's sitting on your belt rig, those bits will be the bits that sit in on your shoulders there. So that'll keep it nice and comfortable. Um, you've got your loops there for going all through all the bits on your belt. I do actually have my belt here, but I'm not going to pull it out just now because... I mean, I'm sure you can all figure out how that uh, these attach to the belt and then they, they hang away. It's not, it's not rocket science. So you've got four points of attachment. I know a lot of suspenders have. I think the Eagle, the Eagle's main ones only have three because Eagle belt, their Molly battle belt only has three. So yeah, good quality Molly cam fabric, very very lightweight, but you know, plenty of extra stitching. You can see. You can't because it's dark, but yeah, there's lots of lots of stitching in there holding it all together. Good top quality materials, and basically, I bought these because up to this point I've been using the HSGI High Speed Gear Industries. They're um, HSLD. There's a mouthful for you. Um, high Speed Low Drag Suspenders, which are basically all they are. Is a couple of straps of webbing like that um, that cross over the back, and they've got some attachment points with a plastic adjuster. Um, they're, they're good in that you know they're just pure, pure, simple, no fuss, no hassle, whatever. But the problem with them is that I mean, for a start, this all this wide shoulder part with that mesh is going to be a lot more comfortable. But the problem I have with the HSGI ones is that. For example, say you wanted to wear a t-shirt in the game, or you're wearing a UBAX, or any BDU. I, I mean, most BDUs will have a collar, but say you want to wear a t-shirt, or some UBAX 
don't come with a don't come with a collar. And what what was happening was with the HSGI, they were sliding inwards and they're really rubbing, really absolutely killing my neck about there. It was very painful. I, I tried to adjust them every way possible, but I just couldn't get them to sit just in the middle there. The great thing about these ones is that you've got this elastic loop here, and the way the shoulder straps are, they're not going to end up moving in like that so much. Once you've got some weight hanging over there, they're going to be kept separated like kind of backpack straps really. Though. They're not going to end, they're not going to slide in or they shouldn't fall off your shoulders either. Especially because that fabric in there will give you some more grip. So yeah, that will, and these things will save me a lot of neck pain and they don't show how much do they cost. I think that's on They were twenty dollars roughly from um, from Op Tactical. Yeah, that will be a big improvement. It's simple things like that, $20 bit of gear that can totally change your sort of experience at a skirmish day. Very, very good. And what's next? That's the invoice, don't want that. Ah, now, got two of these things. These are, um, just to say, I'm not sure so I'm not hating on HSGI because I really like a lot of HSGI's gear. These are the HSGI ramp platforms. What ramp stands for, I can't remember. Something modular platform, probably. Um, basically, what these do, they come with the malice clips that you need for attaching them, and they're designed to go on your mold belt, so down here. When you're wearing body armor, any sort of vest with pouches that are all sticking out away from your body, what can happen is when you try and reach down to get your pistol bags or your pistol or whatever pouches you've got on your belt, all that stuff that's above on your rig can really get in the way. I mean, and I found that personally with the way my gear is set up. You can just about get into your stuff in your belt, but it becomes quite difficult and it's a lot um, slower getting stuff withdrawn out of those pouches down there because of everything that's in the way. You're trying to pull them up, but there's a pouch in the way. What these do, they sit on your belt and then they give you a ramp so that you put a pouch on there it's going to be now at that angle instead of where it was here before it's now out here so that say you put a mag a, a pistol mag is what I'll be using these for so as an example here's your belt normally the top of the mag would be here you add this onto it the top of the mag is all the way over here sticking out a long way away from um, your actual waist and away from your body so if, um, if you've got a pouch just above this on your main vest rig whatever this is going to really make it far far easier to access all that stuff that you've got on your belt rig um, and like I say I'll be using these for pistol mag pouches next to each other basically it'll, it'll really speed up your pistol reloads um, when you are as I mentioned in that situation of having stuff obstructing your pistol mag pouches or whatever pouch as I said this will really really save you a lot of sort of hassle and rummaging around down there and stressing out because you can't get to the bit of gear that you need in time uh, usual construction quality wise I'm not going to do a review because that's none of these videos about um, I've sort of wandered into reviewing everything by accident recently but that's not my intention I'm just trying to explain you know, what experience I've had in the skirmish field and I thought, hmm, I need to change this bit of gear, so what, what have I bought in order to improve my loadout? So that's that's what I'm saying. I'm um, not, not going to review these in depth. HSGI's gear, it's all 1000D Cordura. Um, these ones are in khaki, because that was just what they had in stock. Um, it's, you know, same thing again. Lots and lots of stitching all over. It's all very solidly held together. It's, it's not going to fall apart when you dive prone out in the desert or in, in some sandy city in a Middle Eastern country somewhere or wherever you might be. They're going to last. The malice clips are good quality. As I've mentioned before on some other videos, I'm not a fan of them. I prefer the normal straps, but they do the job. They attach things to other things. So that's the ramps. 